Hi, everybody. This is Charles Hoskinson broadcasting live from warm, sunny Colorado. Always warm, always sunny, sometimes Colorado. Today is March 14th, 2022. It's been a little while since I've done an AMA, but I've been really, really busy. A lot of stuff going on right now. Huge amount of uh, project management, program management meetings, a lot of work quantification. Uh, we had a lovely series of workshops with the CF, but those shall remain nameless uh, because there's a lot to internally do before we make any announcements there. And uh, ecosystem continues to grow by leaps and bounds. I think over 517 dApps are under construction. Uh, if you go to Cardano Nexus, uh, or excuse me, Cardano Cube.io, you can see, uh, you could just see the remarkable ecosystem map and how quickly things are growing. And I just got a really special device. So as many of you know, I was in uh, at CES back in January, and I went to this lovely booth uh, that had a dry EEG device that also combined photobiomodulation together. And I said, wow, that's incredible. Uh, so I said, are you selling it? And they said, well, for you, of course. So check this out. I think wave. And they didn't give it to me. I had to buy it. But basically, all you neurologists, doctors, biomedical enthusiasts, what it is, is a headset. And it's got 19 dry EEG leads on it. And if you look real closely, you'll see kind of phase of the camera there. You see how the light shines a little bit. There's actually biomodulation, photobiomodulation, uh, LEDs uh, connected to it. They're using it for the treatment of depression uh, and other conditions. But what's really interesting is this may actually give you a statistically equivalent uh, in the same order of magnitude uh, reading that a wet EEG would do. So we work a lot with a company called Aspen Neuroscience, and uh, they're going to do a cross comparison of the readout from this device compared to a wet EEG. And if it works, oh my, you might not get any goop in your hair. That's pretty cool. So I can't wait to try it out. I just got it to the office today. It came in straight from South Korea. Uh, okay. So you may be saying, what in the world does this have to do with anything crypto? Well, I will remind people with AMAs that AMAs are not just Cardano or crypto related. They can be anything you've ever wanted to ask. And you can ask it. I can answer it. My prerogative. Now, I'm a big fan of cognitive science, neurosciences, and I've been getting more and more into it as I've gotten older because I'm very fascinated in the science of memory and learning and also flow states and focus. I've been incredibly interested in these things uh, for a long time. And what lately has been happening is if you look at things like the Neural Meditation Institute or uh, other bodies, there's been a lot of research around can you combine a medical device like an EEG or things like FNIRs with a meditation practice or a flow practice or altered states of consciousness up to and including psychotropic experiences? And it turns out the answer is yes. And it turns out that there is many protocols that are being developed. Uh, and we're doing a lot of research right now on mapping EEG to FNIRs, uh, namely uh, Jeffrey Tarrant over at uh, NeuralMed Institute. And uh, once we have a good corpus, we'll probably figure out how to collaborate with the Colonel guys because uh, Brian Johnson has some lovely people. I'm interested in this because it's the science of human performance, kind of like what Stephen Kotler does and flow research and these types of things. And I think a lot about, okay, can I take somebody and if we do nothing, it takes them, I don't know, 24 weeks to learn a language to fluency or whatever. And if you get involved and you do some things, maybe they can do it in 12 weeks or eight weeks or whatever. We have finite time in life, so I have a venture that I'm building with my dad and brother, and we're talking about, well, longevity, how do you increase that time? But then there's also a question of how do you better use that time? And first, there's the wisdom side, and then there's the efficiency side. So different ways of thinking give you more efficiency, so you have to spend less time to get the same result or better results. And then the wisdom side gives you the, uh, the meta, why should you spend your time on something? So it's just a side thing that I'm quite interested in. And from time to time, I share the cool little devices I get and the things we do. And we certainly have a lot of partners that we work with and very interesting people. Um, Cardano itself is doing pretty well. 
uh, you know, most people have these bizarre notions of success. They look at like the price and they say, well, if it's high, it's great. If it's getting lower or there's a decline, then obviously something's wrong. But by all meaningful metrics, TVL, uh, population of the chain, transaction volume, the rate of developer acquisition, uh, everything is massively better today than it was even 60 days ago um, and so forth. Looks like we'll have a lot of events this year, like uh, we'll probably go to consensus. We're just deciding how big of an involvement we want to have in consensus and uh, a lot of community events all around. So uh, I'll be traveling quite a bit and meeting a lot of you. The world is opening up again, so it's uh, always good to do that and have some fun and uh, do these things. So anyway, longevity, anti-aging, longevity. Longevity, yeah, that's the word. It's been a long fucking day. <laughs> you know, I when I was really tired years ago, I was doing a presentation and I said canocial instead of canonical. <laughs> All right. Uh, not a, not many uh, updates for you guys uh, outside of that, um, but I'll get right to your questions. 